anyone planning a trip to far north Queensland and they will tell you their first stop will most certainly be the Great Barrier Reef. In fact, over two million travellers pay a visit each year. But I have a confession to make, I've never been to the reef. So today's the day I take the plunge and I can't tell you how excited I am. We're setting sail on Quicksilver's Wave Dancer to the Low Isles, just 15 k's northeast of Port Douglas. Low Isles is a relatively easy destination, being close to the Queensland coast. It's only an hour's run out, and with the prevailing wind coming from the southeast, it makes a very pleasant sail beam on to us as we head out to Low Isles. Ah, oh, beautiful. Isles were named by Captain Cook back in 1770 and are an important cultural site for both the Gugu Yalanji and Urugandi indigenous people. The great thing about the day trips is you have the whole island to explore. It's all ours for the day and although it may be small, there is plenty of space for passengers to spread out and relax. Apart from its natural beauty, the island's lighthouse has played an important role in the maritime safety of the region since 1878. Now, if you prefer a taste of the reef but aren't keen on getting wet, then the glass bottom boat tour is the perfect way to soak up the colourful marine life. Below the surface, there are over 150 hard and 15 soft coral species, plus loads of colourful fish and marine life, all safely living within the island's protected waters. Reefs are amazingly resilient. I'm always amazed at how well they cope uh, with impact from people. You know, just recently we've had a, a massive coral bleaching event yes. in the northern end of the Great Barrier. And this reef has really kind of, well, dodged a bullet. And so when you get uh, this uh, proximity to the coast, there's that sediment that comes offshore. And so you get a lot of soft coral here. Now, soft corals are really tough. I mean, as far as corals are concerned, yep. they're really quite resilient. And, uh, and so this reef, even after that bleaching event, has got away with so very little damage. And it's, it's, a, it's a great relief, really. The Great Barrier Reef is said to be home to the largest concentration of marine life on the planet. And although this is only such a small part of the UNESCO World Heritage Area, it certainly gives you a taste of Mother Nature's magnificence. Back on board, and the Wave Dancer crew certainly know how to cater for their hungry tribe of day trippers with an all inclusive, tasty buffet lunch. Despite opinions on climate change, this remarkable ecosystem is a national treasure. And it's not only our duty as Australians to preserve and protect it, but our duty to the planet.